So in this video, we are going to be creating this iFollow mouse cursor project by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is what we are going to be building. So whenever I move my mouse over, so here you can see this emoji will follow my mouse cursor right here. Okay. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right to our code and write our code. For that, we have to just create a folder. We have to give it like name of O51 and then I follow. Okay, and inside this folder, we have to create three files. The first one will be index.html, the second one will be style.css, and the third one will be just app.js for JavaScript. Now, let me make it just a little bit bigger so that we can focus on our code. Okay, so for HTML side, we are going to be just first of all changing the title to like eyes following uh, mouse cursor. Okay, and now let's just link that to our CSS and also to our JavaScript as well. Let me just hide this meta from here. Right click on it, open with a live server. So it will now open our file in a live server. So for HTML, we are going to be writing a div with the class of emoji face. And inside this emoji face, we are going to be writing our eyes. And inside this eyes, we are going to be writing just two eye. Okay, so once we save our file, and this is it for HTML. So now let's jump right into a CSS and now let's just style them. All right, so the first thing I would do is I'll just select my board. And now let me just get rid of this uh, margin and padding as well. And box sizing will be border box. Okay, and now let me just write a display of um, flex. Justify content will be center. Align items will be center min height let me give him like 100 vh and now let's just write a background color of their blue violet save it and this is how it looks like right here okay so now the first thing i would do is i'll just start working on this emoji face so now let me get this emoji face and position will be relative and then we have to just give him a little bit of width like 300 pixel duplicate it and height will be also 300 pixel background color will be rgba and now let's just send that to 255 255 and also zero and then 0 0.6 at three okay so this is a background color now let's just change that to like border radius of 50 percent okay and now let me just write like display of flex in it and then justify content of center align items of center and then transition will be just 0 0.5 seconds save our file and this is our circle right here and that's why we just formed that right here all right so the next thing which we have to do is to just get this face emoji and we have to just write a before selector so now let's just write our before and content will be nothing so empty content top will be just 180 pixel and now the next thing i'm going to do is just provide a position of absolute on it width will be 150 pixel and then the next thing which i'm going to do is provide a height of like 70 pixel okay and now the background color i'm going to change this one to like crimson so this one will be the mouth color then border bottom left radius will be just 70 pixel 70 pixel duplicate instead of left let me just change that to right okay and then let's just add a little bit of transition not transition duration but just transition come on transition of 0 0.5 seconds save it and here you can see we have this mouth right here okay so that's that the next thing which you have to select is our eyes which will be these eyes right here so now let me just get these eyes and then toward a position of relative on them and top will be just minus 40 pixel and display will be just totally flex and nothing's gonna happen because we didn't provide any content in it so now let me get each of the eye which is these eyes right here Okay, so for that we are going to be writing a position of relative width will be like 80 pixel, duplicate and height will be also 80 pixel, display will be block, and then background color will be totally white, and border radius will be 50% because we want them to be totally uh, rounded, so margin will be, let me just write a margin, top and bottom will be 0 and left and right will be 15 pixel, and this is how it looks like, kind of an odd emoji. <laughs> anyhow so now let's just add or before selector on those uh, eyes so let me just get my eye and now let's just add or before selector okay and, and then so content will be just empty strings and then just write a position of absolute on them and then just write a top will be 50 percent left will be 25 pixel okay and then just write your transform transform of translate 
and translate will be like minus 50% and then the first one will be not minus 50%, the second one will be minus 50% and no, you know what, both of them will be <laughs> minus 50% and now let's just change the width to like 40 pixel so now let me get just 40 pixel duplicated and change the height to also 40 pixel border radius will be just 50% and now let's just add a background color to totally black save it and this is how it looks like so here you can see we have this before selector and also this before selector all right so that's that so i guess we are just done with html and css so now let's jump right into a javascript and then provide a little bit of interactivity to our site or to our emoji or whatnot so the first thing i'll do is i'll just get my query selector or body Okay, so now let me just get my body. Inside this body, we are going to be attaching an event listener of mouse move. So whenever we move our mouse on that body, so we want to just call this function eyeball, or you can just uh, write like follow eyeball or whatnot. But in my case, I'm just giving them of like eyeball. Okay. Inside this eyeball function, the first thing I'll do is I'll just get my eye, which is this i i'm talking about like like this i and this one as well so let me just get there you know what it will be this one will be like eyes now let me get there so document.query selector all and now let's just get or i okay so which will be um this i and also this i now we have to iterate over on those eyes because those eyes are more than one okay so now let's just write like for each and now let's just pass our i on there now let me just get my uh, x and here i'm going to do is i'll just write the i dot get bounding rect okay so now here i'm going to have to pass my left right there and then i dot client width so now let me just pass my client width on there and then divide by two duplicate this line of code and change this left to top and change this one from x axis to y axis and also this one will be a height okay so that's that so now we get our x axis and y axis so now let's just write our radian so just it will be radian and it will be now equals to like math dot atn2 and event dot page x and now let's just minus or x on it and then event dot page y and now let's just get rid of or y i mean like minus or y and now let's just get our rotation so now let me just write like rotate and it will be now equals to radian and now let's just uh, write it times 180 degree um, divided by math dot pi for pi and then divide this one by minus one and now let's just plus 270 degrees okay so now finally which we have to just write like i dot style style and then we have to just use like transform property on them and now let's just write or back text right there so here we are going to be just writing like rotate and now let's just call or or uh, variable right there and then, and now let me just add our deg for degrees so once we save our file and now if i just scroll over so here you can see these eyes will now follow my cursor right here so whenever i move my cursor so those eyes will now follow my cursor right here all right so this is what i want to show you in this video so i guess that will be it for this project so now if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you do know get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now okay so i'll just write like um so i'll just write like get uh, and then status and now here you can see we are working on all 451 so now so now let me just write like get add and add everything and then get commit dash m and here i'm gonna just write like i follow and i guess that would be fine okay i follow colors wouldn't it be fine but get um push everything to the origin man and if i hit enter right here so it will now push our code into our github repository so now if you check o51 so if you click on that so here you can see we have this index.html file and all of our code and then we have this app.js file and all of our code right here and then we have this style.css file and all of our code right here okay so if you want to get this code so here it is all right so i think that was about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye